Who am I? Hi collectors, welcome back to my channel. Today we will take a look at a special figure, Zeddy Toys 1 over 5, 14 inch Iron Man Mark 3. This is the first time Zeddy Toys give us 1 over 5 skills Iron Man figures. I am a big fan of Zeddy Toys and I'm very excited when Zeddy Toys announced this figure. This is the huge figure come with the big box. The box is about 2 times higher compared with the box in their regular release. Because of space limitation as well as the budget concern, I seldom collect big scale figures. But this is the first time that the toys give us this 1 over 5 scale Iron Man figures. I'm so curious how well they will perform this time. The price tag on this Iron Man figure also affordable and it also looks good in their promo photo. So I decided to add this in my collection even though the size of the figure is very big. I have high expectation on this figure, hopefully it won't disappoint me. This is Iron Man Mark 3, Marvel's Infinity Saga logo at the top. This is the first time that the toys give us large open window at the front of the box. As you can see, this is a huge figure. Nice artwork of our Iron Man and this is Iron Man Mark 3. Official license sticker at the bottom. At the side of the box, the background is our Iron Man Mark 3 and the Mark 3 logo here. At another side, the Iron Man art reactor as a background as well as the Iron Man Mark 3 logo. Another artwork of our Iron Man Mark 3 here, reposter shooting hand as background as well as the simple background of our Iron Man Mark 3 in Chinese. As usual, this box comes with magnet cover. Listen Riva, I heard the sound from Goku Black. You heard his song? Yes, he said he is in trouble. They need our help. But before that, we have something important to do. Huh? What is it? Deadpool, it's time to say goodbye. Wait, what is going on? I did nothing wrong. Why both of you try to kill me? Haha, uh -huh, you think we don't know? You are the spy here. Wait, there must be a misunderstanding. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh no, that boat escaped! Don't run, you coward! I must act fast. I need to inform Piccolo now. Bish. You think you can escape from us? Prepare to die! <laughs> hey wait, both of you, wait! There must be a misunderstanding. Deadpool, <laughs> any last word? We don't have time for this! Prepare to die now! Huh? Who's that? Hey, both of you, stop that! Haha, <laughs> you think you can stop us alone? You are joking! Who said I alone? A lot of me coming! You better escape now, else you will regret! What? Another Iron Man? Even both of you also can't defeat me! Really? Okay, wait! Let me show you my new toys! Huh? What is that? Ah. Oh, oh, what is this? This is huge! No! Oh, please help me! Please! Riva, you have no chance to escape! Uh, huh? What is that? Iron Man? Mark for the tree? Please handle Riva! Okay, you can count on me! Great, be careful! That won't you away! Thank you, Iron Man! No worry, I need your help! Can you help the search around? Search for who? 
I heard a new Robocop is somewhere here. Robocop? Okay, I will help you to find him. Thanks. Here is our Iron Man Mark III out from the packaging. And it is huge. This baby is really big. It's about 14 inch height. Which almost the same height as my studio background here. The paint job on the head is good. You can see the smooth glossy gold painted on the face plate. The eyes is in translucent plastic because we can light up his eyes. Some interior design here painted in nice gunmetal. The ear plate as well as the panel line is sculpted nicely on the helmet. You even can see the silver on the panel line. Unfortunately, my figure has this paint defect on the helmet. Great mechanical definition sculpted on the collar area. Some sort of screw design here. I really love this panel line design surrounding the art reactor. It looks very good. More interior design sculpted here. It looks like holocraft design on the outer armor. And we can see the interior design through the holo on the armor. A lot of panel lines sculpted on the abs area. Looks like the abs is made by silver piece of armor. More mechanical details sculpted on the shoulder joint and painted in silver. Screw design sculpted on the shoulder area. Van light details sculpted here. Spine light details sculpted here on the back. And the panel line on the spine also painted in silver. The details here really looks good. The air blade here is able to flick up. I think this is a common feature for an Iron Man figure. But the detail beneath the air blade is good. They even have this silver watch on the details. We have the additional hinge joint at the bottom part of the air blade. And you able to hinge up the bottom part. This piece here also able to fold out. They also scope out the details on the inner part. Let me also open out the other side. The detail is good. But unfortunately, the hole for the screw is exposing out here. A USB slot here as well as the button to switch on the light. We even have the details sculpted on the art reactor. This chrome surface in art reactors looks good in front of camera light even though we still not switch on the light. Let me switch on the light. Just press the button here. We only have light effect on the eyes and also the art reactor. I think it's a bit disappointed because we don't have light effect on the reposer hand. Another feature on this figure is we able to remove the front armor on the chest area. As you can see, we have more mechanical definition sculpted on the inner frame. The details here are painted in glossy silver. I just feel like the details here looks a bit simple. Maybe they can add some other metallic paint here on the detail instead of silver. Besides, we also have this obvious big hole. I'm not sure why they decided to use this big and hole instead of manette. This obvious slot on the details really looks bad. We have two layers of armor on its shoulder plate. Both layers also painted in this glossy red. The bicep area here painted in nice gold. The mechanical details are sculpted nicely on the joint area. The plate on its forehand is removable. But we have obvious screw here. I'm glad they're using the magnet to attach the plate here. Why they decided to use pick and hole to attach its chest armor instead of magnet like this, I think they made a wrong decision. This figure also don't come with any articular finger hand, but the details on the hand looks good. The reposer is painted in white. They even scope out the details on the finger joint. We can see the inner frame here on the tight area and the inner frame also full of mechanical details painted in glossy red. The tight area is painted in nice gold. We have minor details here molded in translucent plastic. The knee pad is painted in nice glossy red. 
beneath the knee pad we also can see the interior mechanical design on the surface with some silver highlight on the details not much surface detail on the shin area the details on the feet also painted in silver the inner frame here on the joint area also full of mechanical definition nice grossy paint job here some van design here but we don't have any articulation on the armor plate here it can root right and left look up that much and look down that much you also can push forward his head but now he can only slightly look up and down that much the outer part of shoulder armor able to flip up and down another hinge joint on the inner part of its shoulder armor you can hinge up the shoulder armor that much full rotation on the hand the hand can hinge up about 45 degree to extend its articulation you can pull up its shoulder after pull up the hand can hinge slightly below 90 degree you also can slightly adjust the position of each shoulder bicep rotation no problem double joint here his hand can hinge up slightly above 90 degree ball joint at the wrist area and his hand can fully rotate as well as side to side period diaphragm joint here side to side pivot on diaphragm joint no any waist rotation just slightly crouch forward and slightly bend backward you can extend up its diaphragm joint but we will have a small gap here now you can further shrivel its diaphragm joint crouch forward slightly further and bend backward that much the leg can split outward that much forward kick about 45 degree and slightly kick backward as usual we have drop down feature we can slightly extend the length of its leg this drop down feature did slightly help on its articulation on the leg now the leg can further split outward that much the leg also can further keep outward slightly above 45 degree and backward keep that much upper tight shriver double joint here his leg can hinge slightly above 90 degree hinge joint on the toes can hinge up that much the feet is in ball joint so you actually can freely rotate the feet here are all the accessories or weapon out from the packaging and the accessories are less than I expected a pair of closed fists a reposer open hand the art reactor are painted in white the details on the finger joint are nicely sculpted here this pair of open hand is more like the flying hand the slot is at the side of the hand a pair of reposer shooting hand the slot now is on the top of the hand instead of at the side the pattern of the finger are also slightly different one is more like shooting its repulsor another is more like in flying pose a USB cable for us to charge the built-in battery a pair of missile on his forehand I think the scoping work on the missile is really good they even paint out the missile in gold with some silver touch up the missile also have some surface definition we just remove this plate here on the forehand and replace with this missile forehand this iron man is about 14 inch height this is my bootleg 
Hot Toy Size Iron Man Mark 43 ZD Toy 70 Inch Iron Man and War Machine Marvel Legend Iron Man Mark 3 Marvel Legend Thor 20 years anniversary Hawk also 20 years anniversary Iron Man Thor Ragnarok Ravager Thor Black Series Darth Vader Princess Leia Ewok Village Kingdoms Optimus Prime Studio Series Iron Height SH Figure Art Goku Black Piccolo Studio Series Sludge And last but not least Our Master Grade RX78 Gundam Overall, I a bit disappointed on this figure It looks like they just straightly skewed up their 7 inch high Iron Man I actually quite disappointed because with this 1 per 5 skill size They actually can did it better A lot of things I quite disappointed Firstly, they decided to use the pick and hold on its chest armor instead of manette This causes the inner frame on the chest has two obvious big holes Besides the mechanical details and the paint job on the inner frame also quite simple I really hope they can paint out the details in silver metallic paint Secondly is the light effect only on the eyes and art reactor It will be great if they included the light effect on the reposer Thirdly, this figure also don't have finger articulated hand I think with this 1 per 5 skill, it will be great if they give us finger articular hand instead of exchangeable hand. Fourth is the articulation on this figure. I can't see any significant improvement on the articulation on this figure compared with their 7 inch height Iron Man. It will be great if they can redesign the articulation on the body part. Maybe they can add more joint on the abs area so that we can at least have a proper Iron Man crouching pose. And lastly, we don't have much accessory come with this figure. We don't have any effect part or stand it quite disappointed because in their 7 inch iron man they also included the stand and effect part this is the average iron man figure and it looks like skill out of their 7 inch high iron man i not really recommend this figure to you unless you wish to have a big skill iron man figure in your collection thanks for watching remember to come to visit our channel again Please consider to subscribe our channel if you like our video. Remember, here we keep playing, keep building, and keep dreaming. Ciao! previous video we asked what is this figure I am Spider-Man